Hi guys, today video is how to simulate Laplace transform using MATLAB. Now introduced to Laplace transform, this is a very useful transform for math, differential equations and engineering questions. Laplace transform action is integration of something times exponential i omega t or, or st. Means Laplace transform is the Fourier transform of function of t into exponential st. As you see, as you see, these is questions. Uh, Laplace transform is uh, transform time function into s functions and uh, taking inverse Laplace transform you can again get the time functions today we are learning in MATLAB how to perform roots of a polynomial partial fraction pole zero gain transfer function pole zero plot frequency response and magnitude of uh, Laplace transform uh, and magnitude of Laplace transform how to draw this without wasting our time uh, I am going to MATLAB command window now we are in MATLAB command window. First, we find roots of a polynomial. Find the location of PF poles and zero from the Laplace transform transform function. First, I write as an example uh, Laplace transform function is equal x uh, x of s is equal to 4 s square plus 6 divided by x cube uh, plus x square minus 2. So now uh, we are find the roots of this polynomial by using this root command as you know uh, the our transfer function is 4 s square plus 6 so we use 4 0 and 6 for roots so 0 is equal to this and for poles we again use this command so we use p is equal to roots 1 as s cube divided by s cube s square and minus 2 so we use 1 1 0 and minus 2 so this uh, how we find the roots of the Laplace transfer function so C L C and clear it after clearing the command window uh, we perform second step of partial fraction for partial fraction I use this example s of x of s is equal to 3s plus 4 divided by s cube plus s square plus s 8s plus 4 we used r p k is equal to residues command to find pressure fraction for the ratio of two polynomials as you see our transfer function is this and this is by using this command we get the partial, partial fraction of two no polynomials and r is equal to this p is equal to this and k is equal to this now we use c and c to clear so at third step we, fi we find pole zero gain now in command window for pole zero gain uh, we first we define zero is, uh, z is equal to zero 10 multiply 10 iota minus uh, 10 iota then we define p is equal to minus 0.5 plus 5 iota uh, minus 0.5 minus uh, 0.5 iota minus 4 press enter and then we define k is equal to 2 we use sys z p k to represent an lti and lti object representing object representing our system in pole zero gain from the zero and poles or described by the vector z and p respectively and the gain is represented by the scalar k so press enter you, uh, you can see continuous time zero pole gain model so now our fourth step for to find transfer function for transfer function we use sys tf uh, tf means transfer function transfer function of sys z p k and press enter so we get the transfer function is this continuous time transfer function now we use pz map sys command to generate pole zero plot so pz map sys transfer function this is our about transfer function and we generate pole zero plot of this transfer function press enter and you can see this is our pole zero map 
and this is our pole at minus 4 and this is our second pole at minus 0.5 to uh, iota plus iota 0.5 and damping is 0 0.095 and this is its other imaginary uh, pole and zeros are there at plus 10 iota at 0 and damping is minus 1 and other 0 is 3 zeros and 3 3 zeros and 3 pole you can see in this graph for frequency response uh, we put uh, omega is equal to 0 to 4 double line multiplied by 20 divided by 5 and h is equal to frequency represents simple system transfer function with respect to omega as you see this is our function and this is our transfer function and this is our frequency so this is our uh, absolute values of h m and g and squeeze h this is our h function frequency response we plot we, uh, we type plot omega and this function is absolute space and press enter so this is our you can see the frequency response of laplace transfer function first we clear the command window by typing typing c and c and then for uh, for magnitude of laplace transfer function sketch a magnitude of x of s where x is x of x is equal to 1 over 1 plus a so we put a is equal to minus 5 and we put x is equal to minus 20 to 20 we type y is equal to minus 20 to 20 then we type a capital is equal to this now we create a for loop for j is equal to 1 to 40 and second for loop k is equal to 1 to 40 then we type a j k is equal to 1 over square square root of x of j plus a and square plus y k square and press enter so uh, end the first loop and ending the second loop so define x is minus 20 to 20 and minus 20 to 20 you see this so mesh a so giving the title magnitude of laplace transformer transform x of s so you can see the magnitude of laplace transfer function is like this and we see this is 0 to 1 and yellow is the most upper values as you see this is 0 to 1 and this is 40 and this is also 0 to 40 this is 3d magnitude of laplace transfer function now if you like my video please hit like button and subscribe my channel thank you for watching thank you for watching my channel